Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today we are going to test out a sublimation hack. So today we are going to be using a product that I actually found from Amazon. It's just a little spray bottle. This is a sublimating coating. So it's a sublimation coating, if you will, for t-shirts and things like that. So what this is gonna do is allow you to sublimate on 100% cotton. What I like about it is it's affordable, it's easy, it's something to grab really quickly, especially if you're just gonna be trying out a few t-shirts. If you're a crafter like myself, maybe you're not actually selling them, this is something to grab really quickly to you know play around with a few t-shirts. So like I said, this is going to allow us to sublimate on 100% cotton. So what I have here is a couple of 100% cotton t-shirts. So these are in white. So we're going to do that just so we can see the best that we can. We want to pull it, put it to the full test. Now, once I'm done with these, if they are successful, I will do a wash test. And if the wash test was good to go, you can find that information in the description below. All right. So this is the uh, design that I'm using today. So it says I put the boo in bougie. It is so stinking cute. And now the one thing about this one is the first time I printed it, I accidentally cut off a little bit of the sides instead of trashing it i went ahead and cut out the word boo so i was able to actually save that so i thought it would be really cute too to just have this so i may go ahead and press this one as well by itself just so we can kind of see that so also just to show you, you can get two different designs here now if this works another cute thing that i think since we're getting into fall halloween season the colder season i think it would be fun to put these on some long sleeves as well as sweatshirt so I really hope this stuff works so here we go like I said I grabbed this stuff at Amazon I have everything I'm using today linked down below so we're gonna go ahead and open it up and check it out all right so once you open it up it's got its little plastic container here kind of reminds me if you guys get those inks for say if you convert a um, Epson sublimation printer it just kind of reminds me of that packaging here all right so let me go ahead and grab my scissors really quickly I thought I had some and we were totally prepared all right so what we're gonna do is I'm going to clip off the top here and pop this out and now it doesn't say on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up just a little bit so you guys can get a better view of this product here. So it looks just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this thing stays awake on us. So it says t-shirts, pillows, canvases, cotton fabrics, uh, polyester fabric, and cotton. So it's going to allow us to um, essentially turn cotton into something you can sublimate. And so um, let's see here, do not open before using it, keep out of reach of children and then store at room temperature. Now, the one thing I've noticed about this entire thing is there is no instructions, but it does come on the top here. It comes with a QR code here. So if you scan that QR code to go for the instructions, you're actually going to have a video. There's a few questions that they answered um, once you click it, but there's actually a YouTube tutorial that shows you guys how to use the product. So we're just gonna do the same thing. And luckily I guessed those instructions right because I was actually gonna go ahead and proceed forward because I'm gonna be honest, I didn't realize this was the instructions because I didn't see them anywhere on here, but it's actually, there's a video, so that's really nice. And so it says around 380 to 400 degrees, and then it says 30 to 40 seconds. So we're gonna do 385, and I'm gonna do the 40 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. I could possibly bring it back. I may do, let's, let's well, I'm gonna do 385, because it's 380 to 400. So I'm gonna do 385 for 400, what I normally would sublimate using the Cricut Easy Press, so we're gonna stick with it. And then it just shows spraying it on the fabric and then we're going to press it for five to 10 seconds just to dry it down and then you're gonna press. So I'm gonna assume that you would wanna let it sit probably overnight and then throw it in the wash. So give it at least, you know, 24 to, a lot of times 24 to 72 hours to cure, uh, but I'm gonna let mine set overnight and wash it the next day just to go ahead and tell you guys, okay? So I'm really excited because like I said, once again, this is something you don't have to buy in bulk. Um, sometimes it gets very expensive to get those products and this was really affordable, like I said, and it's gonna allow you to do quite a bit of t-shirts. So not a whole ton if you had a business, but definitely if you're a crafter and you wanna play around with some shirts, all right? So here we go. So I've got my Cricut Easy Press. I will have to press in probably two or three uh, different motions here so that way I can get my entire 
entire design. And then I'll go ahead and press it one more time because I can do it in two here as well. So we're gonna probably just accomplish getting both of these done today. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my, um, my Cricut pad here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my T-shirt. Now, if you obviously are using a bigger heat press, go ahead and put it on your surface here and then get it on the heat press um, to dry it and press it, obviously. But we're using the Cricut Easy Press today. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll like I normally would. And then we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna press to release any sort of wrinkles. That way when I go to spray this, it's going to go right where I need it to be. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna smooth everything out. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with our smaller design here. That way I can make sure that before I do something big and multiple pieces, this actually works here. All right, so once you've done that, we're gonna take our handy dandy spray here and it doesn't show to kind of shake it up or anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and do so. I'm not doing super crazy like this. I'm kind of tilting it back and forth just to make sure that that formula is mixed up there. And then we are gonna be good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray. You don't wanna oversaturate or it's going to be soaked. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray our t-shirt like this. So wherever that design is going, you can always tap that to make sure it feels like you've got your entire area. So I think something like that seems good. So once you have that, we're gonna go ahead and take our iron here, go directly on here for around five to 10 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one side. We're just ultimately drying this stuff down. Now, if you don't want the stickiness all over your Cricut Easy Press, you can always put down a parchment paper. I wouldn't do a Teflon sheet, but I would definitely do a parchment paper. I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower down here. Now, if you overspray, that's where it's gonna get stiff. Um, so right now it feels a little tacky and sticky. So that'll be kind of curious to see where that kind of ends up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take that design and I'm gonna try to figure out where I want that to go. So I'm thinking somewhere right about in here and then I'm gonna take my heat tape here. And we're gonna tape down one side and the other. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cover it with a piece of parchment paper. I'm gonna cover one side, hit go. Once again, 385 for 40 seconds, and then we'll press the other side. All right, so we're down to three seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to scoot it over. So very careful, I'm gonna try to make sure that I get the other side. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and lift it up out of the way, move that, and then we're gonna go ahead and peel. There we have it. How stinking cool is that? Now I will say with this design, I'm not too sure about the colors. I almost feel like it's faded out just a bit, but then again, this may be the design. So this is something, these are some colors that are really trendy right now. Um, one thing I do wanna point out so far with this material is it's really sticky. Um, I know that they had already said in their instructions about it being stiff, but they didn't really say anything about it being sticky. Um, so I think as it dries down, it may actually get better. So let's go ahead and set it out of the way and that way. So hopefully you guys can see this here. I really do like it and it's not bad. Like the stickiness is definitely going away. The texture feels really good. It's nothing, it doesn't feel, it's a little bit, I can feel something like you can see it's not how the t-shirt normally kind of folds, if that makes sense. Um, I'm always trying to describe the way I can feel stuff, but either way, if it works, I'm really, really exciting. So. Um, I almost want to say that the colors, because that black outline and all of that, this is 100% cotton, I almost feel like I don't think that it brought the colors out correctly. So you know what we're going to do? Instead of me pressing another one, because I've already done this one here, let's go ahead and take this design here, and you're gonna be able to see that middle as well. Let me grab 100% polyester, and let's just go ahead and take a look at the difference. All right, so we are going to put this design to test with 100% polyester. So this is a Cricut Raglan shirt, which I think is gonna be so cute for this anyways because of the arms and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited about this. Now keep in mind, you can definitely still, so this almost reminds me, if you were to press this on a 50-50 um, shirt, this is about what it would look like. And I almost even feel like you would have had a little bit better of um, color, honestly. So I'm kind of a little bit on the fence with this one. I thought it was going to work absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and do our raglan t-shirt. And honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bigger map because I have a feeling this guy is just a little too small. All right, so we are gonna bring in our bigger Cricut pad. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Cricut t-shirt um, today and get this down here. All right, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll and then remove any sort of moisture off of my t-shirt. Just 
So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So we're just gonna smooth it down and remove that moisture. So remember, this one is 100% polyester. I'm also gonna go ahead and take some scissors here and trim this down. All right, so I've got my center going there. To do so, you're just going to simply fold it in half, get yourself a little bit of a crease, and then we're gonna bring it down around three fingers or so from the neckline. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and tape. So we're gonna get some tape on either side of this. There we have it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a new piece of parchment. And then we're going to press. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably do one, two, and then three, because I don't think I need all the way across the bottom there. So we're gonna go ahead and get hit go. So I'm doing 385 for 40 seconds. So ultimately, there's no tricks up my sleeve or anything like that. I was really excited about it. Now when I do the wash, if you guys like this rustic, um, washed out antique look, then um, definitely put it to the test. And I actually have one more design that I printed out. So I'm actually, after this, let's go ahead and press one more time. Let's give it one more shot. And um, I'm gonna use one more design that I actually have. And I, all of these designs that I'm using, both of them, if you will, will be linked down below. All right, so we are down to four seconds and I'm gonna just carefully move this guy over. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and do this because one thing you really want to avoid with this is is over pressing the second area again if you don't have a heat press that's going to cover the whole thing um the cricut 10 by 12 would have been better for your bigger t-shirt projects or simply at least a 15 by 15 heat press would really be sufficient for this all right so i'm just pressing this one for the 40 seconds and i should be able to accomplish one more time at the bottom all right perfect so now what we're going to do is get this out of our way and let's see what the design should look like on 100% polyester. All right, so we're going to lift it and boom. It looks really good. So I did mess up right here. So when I had that pressure, I should have brought it over and had it a little bit more here. But let me go ahead and bring in the other shirt just so you can see for comparison. So this one is the one that we did with the product here. So you can really see those grays and it's almost like it's kind of broken up just a sense like it just didn't do a really good job of sublimating in a sense. So it's almost, in a sense, like it never even had the, the, the coating on it. So I'm gonna try to, I wouldn't add any more coating because for sure I can feel the coating. I wouldn't want any more coating. I'm gonna try to go in with maybe a little bit of a less hand, but in the meantime, while I was pressing this, I went ahead and shook it up a little more and that way the bubbles can kind of settle just to make sure, maybe did I not have it mixed up all the way or whatever. But like I said, you guys can see here the difference between 100% polyester, what your, your design should look like compared to what you may be getting. So um, let's go ahead and test it one more time. So now let's go ahead and do it again. So we're gonna go ahead and take our spray and we're going to spritz the area. So this one, this is the design that we are using. Now, make sure you guys definitely check it out. I've done another hack on cotton um, using pet film. So we actually did like a DTF direct to film, um, which with sublimation ink, we did another hack. So we use this design here. So make sure you guys definitely check that out too. I'll have it linked above or down below. So we're gonna go ahead and take this design here. So you can always get a blank piece of paper so you kind of know the area you're going but I'm just going to spray this again. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to make sure I have this covered where I need to. And then I'm covering just this area here. It looks good and perfect. I think it's good. You can always double check, make sure everything seems moist. I think it does. I think everything looks good. I'm over here like, I just feel like I'm not getting enough in a sense. I wanna make sure that's not the case either, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put that parchment paper right here because this time, it was so sticky, almost like a glue substance, so I wouldn't really recommend that you put your iron straight on it because I think you're gonna get gummed up over time. So definitely have a barrier. The barrier I recommend is parchment paper because Teflon is, uh, not Teflon, but butcher paper, like a cardstock or copy paper is probably gonna stick to it in a sense. So be mindful of that. So it's got it sticky, it's tacky, and we are ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our design here. We're gonna find that center by folding it in half here. And then I'm gonna bring it up because my design is actually down just a little bit. So something right about here. And then we're gonna add that tape to both sides. And I should be able to get away with pressing this twice. So one on each side, we're gonna get tape here as well as here. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. 
we can get that um, same parchment paper back and then we're gonna press again. So 385 for 40 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this guy up here. And like I said, we're gonna get one side. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit go and then I'll get the other side. So 385 for 40 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this over and we're going to press one more time and I'm gonna try to scoot over as much as I can so I'm not overlapping my design. All right, so we are down to three seconds. We're about to know the moment of truth. Once again, I don't have um, a second copy of this, but you guys should be able to, um, to get the point from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel. All right, so I definitely say we had a little more success with this one. Um, so I, maybe it could be where I pushed with the parchment paper. Honestly, I'm not too sure. I am still getting, so my oranges are a lot more vibrant. I feel like I'm getting a lot more color out of this than I was with the first design because maybe I didn't spray enough. Maybe I didn't spray enough. Maybe I did needed to go on top of that parchment and things like that. But I will say I'm bringing it up here so you can see the black is the same. So part of me wants to defend it, but then a part of me is like, I don't know, because the black is still, if you can see there's not a whole lot of black, but those edgings there, I'm gonna zoom y'all in so y'all can see, but the edgings are very similar to, um, to this. So I definitely think my black came in just a little bit better than it did the first time. So, um, so yeah, so it's kind of a hit or miss. Now the moment of truth will be whenever we wash it. So like I said, maybe I didn't use enough, um, the first time, I definitely have, they both have texture. I'm gonna tell you, they both feel like I use the same amount. Um, but it could be that parchment paper. Maybe the fact that um, using the parchment paper instead of just sticking the iron straight on kind of had a little bit. I did not adjust my time temp, nothing like that. They're obviously the same brand shirt, same shirt, and all of that stuff. But I will say, that this one does seem a lot better than the other one. So really, really cute though. You guys have got to check out our Halloween and fall designs, even our Christmas ones, obviously this season, because our design team is killing it. And if you guys are not a plus member, I highly recommend you check that out as well, because our plus membership area for this Halloween fall area as well is absolutely killing it as well. It's on fire as the teens say. It is so cool what our designers are doing so if you guys are a plus member i encourage you guys to go check it out simply type in halloween in that plus section and you guys are going to be blown away by all of the designs from tumblr wraps to t-shirt designs signs you name it we have it so definitely make sure you guys check it out you guys let me know what your thoughts are on this hack what do you think i may have done wrong with the first t-shirt because it did seem a little bit more successful with the second one um also you guys, before you read the description of whether it worked or not, zoom on down to the comment section. Let me know whether you think it worked or not, and then come back to the description and read whether it did. So like I said, I'm gonna let mine set for um, 24 hours before I throw them in the wash so I can show you guys that final detail there. So um, also make sure you guys join our Facebook community group if you have not already, because we love to see your projects and over there you can share them so we can all check them out as well as find other inspiration from other crafters. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.